Hey guys, and welcome back. I am JD. We're going to continue with the Outlaws. So last episode, we were dancing around in Ocarina's Shield. And a few of our members uh, got a little bit injured, so we all slept up over the night. And uh, let's see what time it is. It's 2.16. So I think we're going to get a nice early start towards the day. We are going to probably just start heading up this way. Don't really have uh, any specific order I want to go visit all these places, but the objective is just to cause as much mayhem as we can with the uh, small group that we have, just for fun. So I'm just going to start heading out here. Um, this is a, kind of a mountain range, so we might have to go around it, if not, go through it. But I guess we could probably just start heading towards Stout. Of course with the desert there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on so we should uh, should be okay. The only issue is food I think. I'm not 100% sure what's really out there to eat. I can't remember if those bugs drop meats or not. The skimmers. So We'll just head on out of there and get going. Hope you guys are having a decent day. So I had a couple comments um, about Stone Queena. No, she's very healthy. <laughs> and what was the other one? My mods. And I mentioned them down below, but I'm just going to show you. That's all I run. Everything else is vanilla. Tried to keep it that way for this playthrough. I haven't changed any of the settings, any of uh, the gameplay. Uh, this is all the way it's supposed to be, unless they're like off by a percent or something, but I haven't changed anything. Just been a lot of time spent playing this game, or at least this playthrough, way back before the release. Conquering all enemies. Alright, so leave this place. Looks like there's uh, no more bodies. Everybody got scooped up. I guess there's a few bodies still laying there, but. Ooh, the samurai boots over here. We're good. We're nice and slow right now, but that's something that we'll take care of in a second. I'm gonna let Master go with this. Uh, Fragment Axe and see how much damage he does with it. So we got 157. Now I'm going to throw this on and see what the difference is. Two hundred and seventeen. Now the reason that's so different is because this here does 2.6 and Two for blunt damage, where this is completely, uh, it's 2.88, so almost three blunt damage, but there's absolutely zero cutting damage, so you're really losing quite a bit of uh, damage points there. It's, uh, what did I say, 160, 150? So yeah, like, we're doing a lot less, so that's why I find this weapon is the best. It's, these ones are good for, like, body armor. Because uh, all your damage is going into the blunt. But because of the swing speed and stuff, I just rather not use uh, the Fragment Axe. You can get so much quicker with this just because it, uh, it only weighs 40 k kilograms. Whereas this weighs almost 60. So the weight difference uh, carries out through your dexterity as well. So over time, if I kept uh, working my dexterity, he would slowly swing that a little bit better and better. Here's those skimmers. And I think we're okay for food right now. He's still got some. People are munching on his supplies, though, so... Hopefully we run into some hivers. Or, like, pack animals. We usually do. That's the nice thing about being out here. Is you run into the... Uh, wandering like traders and stuff and they usually have uh, pack bowls for, full of food so you never have to really run out 
Okay, so it looks like our first little mountain here to get around. I don't really see much out in the wilds yet, other than those random skimmers. Definitely the best place to uh, work on sniping and stuff with the crossbow. So we got some more skimmers coming over here. Definitely be running into a lot of them. Woo. Alright, let's, uh, well, I should probably take passive off. Take hold off to let everybody go do their thing. Excellent. So beep. Oh yeah, you got all the ammo. Let's see, who can carry some food? Scythe, what do you got going on? You got a full bag. Burn. Burn can take some food. Uh, that's not really much at all. You have to kill a lot of these guys to get a decent amount of food in your inventory. So we definitely won't rely on them. Because that's a lot of camping. Oh, got one more here. I like how they just fling up in, uh, in the air. So I've been reading some of the discussions and they've been mentioning that some people have read or seen um, t tweets or whatever from one of the lead developers of Kenshi and they say that they might be upgrading the engine a little bit just to make uh, performance better, I guess. Right now I'm getting 50 FPS with... Uh, shadows and stuff like that so I've got a i 7 7700 series CPU so I can run this at decent FPS all right just take a few more um, what happened there Where did all those meats go? Oh, someone else had them. Burn had them, okay. Let's go with that. That one's good. All right, killed them all. So let's move on. Where are we going? What's this thing? Is that a big robotic arm? Let's go see what that is. definitely what that is a huge robot arm so the ancient robots must have been very big it's crazy how the size of their fingertip is what uh well where are we going here what are we running to do we leave someone behind no i don't see any names not too sure what they're running for but we'll keep them uh, straight and true to where we need to go Alright, so we've got some more skimmers to deal with. Okay, where are these guys going? I gotta figure it out. Hopefully I'm not leaving someone behind. What is everybody fussing about? Oh, there's a fire here. Okay. Must have been from a long, long time ago. Um... Commander, you can take the meats. Definitely don't need that there anymore. Everybody was set on jobs, so they figured they needed to cook some food. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go up here instead. Let's just make everybody run at their own pace. Shouldn't really have any issues other than these skimmers. Oh, she got bit real hard. Right in the head. Dang. Okay, beep. Well, you can pick. Well, it's first aid. Be a total pain in my butt right now. Oh, 
Now you're gonna get attack beep, so you better strengthen up and take it on. Oh, Agnew's here to help you. Excellent, boys. Okay, continue uh, medicking, please. Agnew, you're gonna just stay back here and help beep if anything else comes by. I'll do a mini rescue mission here at the arm of the sand pits. I think everything's still good at home. How's Cornhole? He's slowly getting his stats up. One day he'll be a master as well. Okay, beep. Uh, you can pick her up. Now that she's all bloodied all over the sand dunes here. Let's uh, get with the rest of the group. Let's see if we can find some United Cities guys to beat on, because it's seeming like there's only skimmers out here. Must have to get past this uh, orange desert here and into the actual sand dunes. Alright, anyway, well, let's continue on here. I'll also get the, the strong guys up ahead. Deal with these skimmers. Okay. Where are we going? Where's another fire pit here or something? Must have been just injured or something. Oh, we got some more that were in the sand. These guys pop out of nowhere sometimes, so you gotta be careful. It's crazy how the master is uh, the slowest one of the group, just because of all the weight he's carrying. Nobody else could carry as much as him, though. Alright, we're finally out of the skim sands. Hopefully we can get into some... fights or something here that are actually... a little more difficult than skimmers. Some guys over there... Kinda just gonna traverse these, uh... cliffs and stuff. Oh, we got some, uh... Got some business happening here. Oh, it's just Stone Queen of Toggin? Or was it Agnew? It's gonna let these guys talk it out. <laughs> I'm a beautiful human female lady. Beep. <laughs> so let's make sure that they run as a group now. It's going to be slow. Some nice uh, iron reserves up here. Ooh, we got a tent. We got a little civilization here, or what? No, nope, not quite. Just a bunch of beds out in the middle of nowhere. Just keep on moving. Nope, got some more pathing issues. What's wrong with these guys now? the heck? Why did Beep get knocked out? That was really strange. Come on, get over here. It's nice and dusty out. Kind of annoying. Can't see what you're doing out here. Alright, now we're on our way to Stout. Or Stout, or whatever. Here we go. Here's our first, uh, battle that we're going to get into. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Went a little far. Look at these pack of Garou. I forgot these guys are out here too. They give lots of meat. Those guys are what I survived on out in the Leviathan coast. 
for the beginning till I could get my uh, farming up and running. Just mass murder of Guru or Garu. All right, who are these guys? Oh, they're just petty, petty criminals. Chew through them like nothing. Oh, there goes his arm. Where did it go? It's straight up in the air, I've seen. Oh, jeez. Everybody's screaming for medics. Okay, where's our next? Where are we going here? This way? Ooh, look at this robot stuff out here. Let's go check it out. Nice to find a caravan, though. Um, that was, no, I thought that was a group. Let's keep moving up this way. Lots of junk out in the sand. Who are these guys? Outlaw farmers. So maybe we want to head kind of more in this direction. Looks like Rain the Giants. Oh no, that was just the last person I had my cursor on. So like, oh, we're starting to lose some food here. So that's pretty cool. It looks like a big tentacle of some sort. It'd be kind of neat if there was uh, like an NPC here who just stood there and was like one of the robots that operated on it or something silly. Came back just to see if parts still worked. So we need to go this way. Okay. Let's get over here then. Now let's just uh, take a minute to check out what we got for defenses here. So there's nothing really... Nobody's manned these turrets, which is really awesome. Let's uh, check out this. Oh, yeah, there's a couple up here. So this might be the better entrance to come through. Now, there's quite a few people here. We've got some barracks, got the general shop, the police station, the noble house, clothing shop, bar. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful here on where we select to go full tilt. Let's just uh, check on everybody here. I think we're all good to go. Beeps what left arm is a little beat up still. Can't really do much about that. Rain the Giant's probably going to go down pretty dang quick. So let's get everybody's bag. I guess you could throw that in there. You don't have a bag on. You don't have a bag on. Just take everybody's bags off. Give us that extra bonus. Fang, oh, take that bad boy off. I mean, the giant might as well take that off too. I know it's going to weigh you down, but it's the way she goes. So what is this? A bunch of slave hunters and tech hunters. Well, I guess we might as well get into this this little ugly battle here. This would be a good time to actually use this bad boy. Look at all these... Look at all this madness about to happen. I don't want to get too close to the, the walls there, so... I think we're just going to pick our battles here. Oop, forgot to equip it. I don't even think they can see us right now. Yeah, they don't even know we're here. There we go. Okay, well, 
no more shooting with ranged, I guess. It's time to get real, real sweaty here. You guys want some of this? Huh? You want some of the master? Take you all down. Oh, everybody's charging. We'll have to go like this, and then this, and put everybody on passive and hold. You can all just kind of stand there. I'll let the master go at it. There we go. We're just going to drop a few more samurais here. Easy peasy. Oh, squeezy boy. Getting hopped. I am so sorry for your bruises. Robot wants some of this too, hey? Absolutely destroy everything. Jeez, he's just taking these like a champ. Oh, what do we got here? Western Hivers probably trying to steal some stuff. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Oh, they're healing. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's get uh, the master over here, though. Let's battle just a little bit away from the Hivers. Okay, now we're going to beat you down. Silly robot. Mark three, excellent. Nice armor. Yeah, I'll let you live. Silly hivers. Wonder why they're medicking the mercenaries guild. Hmm. That's fine. They can hurt whoever they want. We will decimate all. Except for our our friends. Alright, well, let's uh, hit the beast with all we've got here. Uh, who else was set up for crossbow? Agnew? Sure, you can get into some ranged. Set you up with some ranged here. See what you're made of. Get a couple shots out. Oh, don't shoot your guys. No, oh, you can't quite get the range on them there, can you? There we go. There we go, Agnew. Let's just uh, show them what we're made of. And it looks like you're not really made of a whole bunch. <laughs> Alright, well, it's time to get ugly. Ooh, Agnew, silly boy, silly. Should be hurting these fools. Looks like the master's gonna come give you a little bit of a helping hand here. It takes some of the damage out of these uh Ooh, what's this guy? Samurai Gate Guard fifty seven. Hmm. Stronger than I thought he would be. There we go. Getting some green on the wall. Absolutely crushing these two guys. Oh, take them down! Jesus, this guy's a hero. There we go. All right, let's just throw your armor in your inventory. Do this quickly. I guess I could be taking their weapons off them. What the heck are you getting up for? Silly samurai. Who are these guys? Manhunters. Eh, kind of against uh, the whole slavery thing, so well, it looks like we've got uh, samurai up in the stands there just trying to shoot at us. I don't like that very much, so let's just get right into this. Let's get nice and close into this wall before he harpoons us to death. Damn, I knew that was going to happen. That's why those harpoons are deadly. Or 
Harpoon Mark II, yeah. Might have to get, uh, gonna have to get Commander up here, I think, and, uh, deal with these guys. Maybe we'll get Burn up on this side here. We'll get the rest of these guys over here. Should probably get uh, Agnew to grab the Master, so he has a chance of getting up. Let's get inside here. All right, Commander, you're going to be off passive, and you're going to take this guy down. No, oh, no, get in there. Oh, that stun lock is so annoying. Alright, let's get uh, some of these guards taken out. Ghost, you're gonna get over here. Burn, did you already take care of this guy? Nope. Might as well take, uh, take down these dudes. Right, you can just stay right here then. Let's take you off passive. Shouldn't have too many issues with these guys. They're not too tough. Soto, take you off hold. Since you're going to be needed elsewhere. Alright, let's see how Jesse's doing. It's 19 more seconds. So these guys, I think I'm going to have to take their weapons from them. Just to make it easier. Um, might as well, well, King Sing, actually I can do this, put that in there. So let's take that, throw it on the ground. These guys, take their armor off, take that. Someone else lost a limb there. Just make sure everybody's kind of in this area. Oh, wait, we need burn. We're not doing so well with this heavy, so let's give you back your katana. Considering there's so many of these uh, gate guards up here. Let's get you guys to roll back over here. They can't really get us if we're not close to the walls, so... As long as we're uh, moderately away from there, we should be okay. Okay, so burn. Should probably heal up a little bit there. Let's take care of this guy first. Yeah, they definitely know who we are. What's all this racket? What do you mean? What are you guys gonna do? Other than get completely obliterated. Oh, Soto's still over here. Let's make sure he's doing okay. I think he should be fine. He's got an edge one, so... Um, Soto, let's take these guys. Oops, come here, come here. Not done. Take theirs, take their weapons, at least that way then, uh, can't really use them against us. They're all, usually their melee stats kind of suck, so. Just take that from them. This guy wants some of this. Take care of him as well. Nobody else is fighting right now, so I can, uh, keep my attention on Soto here. I think he's okay, so let's uh, drop the master down. Take this guy's weapon. Alright, so I've got an inn here that I could cause mayhem in. Let's, uh, let's check out what's going on in here. Soto can work on his uh, skills there a little bit. Master's having a tough time with all this weight. He's probably not used to fighting with it. 
Burn, let's get you over here. You can start taking weapons and stuff. If I don't need this, these guys waking up with them. Take this guy, shit. Don't really need to take the pants if they're just the samurai pants. I think these guys were all D. Taking their ammo, or not their ammo, but their weapon. Alright, Spurn, we're going to take yours. Put that on the ground. Take these guys out. Over here, nope. Get over here. All these guys want to do is just run for the gate. It's kind of funny how they don't even don't even really pay attention to what's going on here. It looks like the rest of the town hasn't even caught on to what we're doing yet. What the heck? How did this guy get a hold of a... How did you get a weapon, man? There we go. Rain? Yeah, you can deal with this. Damage versus animals. It's definitely better than what she's got, so we'll let her keep that. Soto, what's over here? This guy's got his armor. I'll take that off. Let's go to this dude. Do the same. It's going to be a lot of repetition in this town here for this video. I think it'll make a bit longer of a video this time around. Some of you might enjoy it, some of you might not. But I want to make this all in one video, so it might be a 45 minute long. Let's see here, Scythe. You have a weapon, Commander. She, okay, so she should be fine. Be put down. Go. So I've got a new guy here who wants some of this. See, the thing that sometimes sucks about fighting like this is that he's going to end up hitting everybody who's in the fight with him. Just like that. Like, Rain's not even in the fight and she got hit. So sometimes it's better to spread your guys out and then put them on hold. Yeah, she's getting pretty beat up here. It's all good, though. Soto, can you take his stuff? Okay, so I think everybody got... I think we need to take his weapon yet. Maybe they are picking it up. I'm not too sure. I see lots of them around, so... I think it's just the random guys who... finally make their way over. Let's go see what else is in town here and who wants to party. Everybody's looking fairly good still, so I am not worried whatsoever. You probably uh, fill some of these cages up too with some of the baddies. Here's another samurai police. So some of them are going to be a lot tougher than others. I'm just going to let Burn and Master run around. I could probably let him run around too. Let the three big guys do what they please. The rest of them can kind of wait for everybody else to hit them. Unless Soto's off hold. It looks like Soto's off hold as well. Who 
good as holy crap we're already at 76 percent now just from running and bashing people so to let's take some of these guys weapons take his weapon move his armor over Ooh, he had some food on him gonna have to throw these off Actually, maybe, maybe I'll just do a part two. Yeah, I'm just going to continue part two basically from this point on. Uh, hopefully you guys join me for that. So that'll be it for this episode, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging in there. Joining me with this uh, quest to take down the United Cities. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys. JD out.